Good fight. Some nice footwork there. Challenging me, or is it hell you want to face? A Witcher versus the Beast of Metina. Killer Instinct versus Primal Rage. I'd like to hire you to help out. We're staging a play. Need us to kick some ass on stage. Actually want you to usher. Keep the peace. Make sure no one's ass gets kicked on stage or off. Got the wrong men. Ass kicking is what we do. How about a wager? If I beat Hal, you'll come work for me, gratis. See, Hal's not a fan of mummies. Fail run, stay with his hands. He'll need something special to convince him. Here's an idea. Take us both on, same time. Fight ever century. A witcher against the two-headed dragon of metal. <laughs> What if I lose? Oh, you'll lose. But we'll still do your little job. You'll just pay us double. Fine. Fight you both. Cough up the coin first. Lose, and it stays with us. Double your wages, as promised. But if I win, I get it back. Now, finish him! Got something special lined up! <laughs> Such a lovely trash in hell. Man speechless, but I can see it on his mug, but the likes. Time we got some rest. We'll go whatever you want. <laughs> For free, eh, hey, Al? Your coin? Have it back. And don't fret. We'll get there before any of the uh, dancing starts. Ah, there you are. Managed to hire some ushers. Wonderful. That's one matter resolved. Wanted to talk about the text itself. Hmm. It's not at all badly written. In fact, I quite like it. I was willing to relax my standards to help Dudu, but we may have something very interesting here. I've very clear ideas who to cast as the servant, the witcher and the queen. But I'm not certain who should play the prince and the princess. Who's playing the witcher? An amateur. It'll be my first time working with him. But I'm confident he'll pull it off. Newcomer to the troupe? In a sense. Oh, stop pretending you don't know. I'm talking about you. I'm no actor. Might not have noticed, but I'm a little low on emotional expression. But that's perfect. After all, you're to play the Witcher, not the Princess. Besides, you must appear on stage. Dudu must see you. It's the crux of this entire endeavor. You're right. Just never thought I'd have to do something like this. You'll be fine, dear. You need only strut on stage, great sword in hand, furl your brow, make some threatening faces, then deliver a few lines in a gravelly voice. Think you can manage? So, about the princess. Small part, but an important one. Any idea who could play her? Priscilla would be the obvious choice. She's young and beautiful, yet... 
I do have more stage experience. Roll's yours. Talent and experience Trump looks in my book. I'm honored. I shall give it my all. So who do you see playing the Doppler Prince? I'm finding it hard to decide between two candidates. Abelard Ritzer would be the safer bet. He's been part of our troupe for ages, has flawless technique. But he doesn't exactly captivate the crowds. Who's your other option? Maxim Bollier. Outstanding actor, and audiences love him, but sadly I can never be sure he'll show up sober, or that he'll show up at all. Let's go with Abelard. I'll take a reliable artisan over an unpredictable artist any day. Rightly so. The project is risky enough without our casting Maxim. All right. Got the cast figured out. It seems so. Prepared to plunge headlong into your career as a mama? We can start now. Looked over the script, out of curiosity. We can start any time, even now. Well, we've no time to lose. Come to the stage. Zoltan, what are you doing here? Pessy told me you ought to put on a play. Were you playing the lead? I'm not the lead. Oh, I thought to myself, I'd sooner shave my beard than miss that. Tell me what you are. Are you going to wear hose and a codpiece? Calm, Geralt. You must focus your mind before you go on stage. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen. Most honorable citizens of the hallowed city of Novigrad, welcome. We have for you an exquisite comedy. Its title, The Doppler's Salvation. The players, Richard Geralt as himself, Katerina as the queen, Leo Ribe as the humble servant, appearing as the prince, a veteran of the Novigrad stage, Abelard Ritza. And as the princess, renowned artiste, beloved queen of the stage, Irina Reynard. Majesty, the monster slayer awaits. Your summons he's answered and stands at the gates. Show him in. I must speak to the man. But first, some wine to steady my hand. Witcher, your task is a matter most tender. A monster shall show at tonight's feastly splendor. Stand guard, beware, kill the beast if he shows. Your reward you'll receive on my finest pillows. To slay beasts most foul, twas for this I was made. I kill as my calling, not just to get paid. He's swallowed the bait, this fool of a witcher. I'll ensure the foul bow reveals his true figure. The monster revealed, the witcher shall strike. The beast will he slay, thrust his head on a pike. Ah, oh, my child will pity her love, this beast. Though at least, ere he goes, he'll enjoy a last feast. Gathered are we, a host fair and noble, to celebrate this day the princesses.
Betrothal. Alas, no monster do I see or hear. Perhaps midst the guests he hides, in fear. My dear, long have we hid our love's tender fires. Months we've restrained our loins' hot desires. Tonight shall it end. Be my wife, that's my plea. That having said, I'll get down on my knee. Oh, darling, I will, I will, I will. Wait, with wine must we toast this moment joyful. If not, a foul curse shall rend your lives woeful. D -d 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 Treason! Tis not wine, but a brew spiked with silver. My bowels contract, a foul beast to deliver. Hark, hark. Tis no prince, but a Doppler imposter. Seems men's hearts can love, for changelings foster. Behold, Witcher, the beast of which I spoke. Unleash your sword, let fly the killing stroke. Stop, stop, beast or man, tis my love, my betrothed. Sheath your blades, fear a Doppler. Tis a thing most foolish. Changing one's shape does not make one ghoulish. Remember, tis not flesh a monster makes. But a heart that is base, such as in this knave, aches. Witcher, tis true. This wretch's foul suspicions tainted my mind with this plan so malicious. The Doppler must live. My daughter he'll wed. Beast or man, she loves him truly, without dread. Tis our tale's end, good folk. And its moral is this. No monster is he whose shape can shift. The Witcher is just a true Doppler's friend. But you, foul page, in chains you shall end. God! Call the God! Remove the traitor at once! Hey, hear the princess's command. Come up here. Come on then, governor. Up you go. On stage. Toss the tray of scum in the dungeon! Don't be afraid. In the end, everyone will live happily ever after. Doppler and Princess wed the same night. The servant's heart melted. He wept at the sight. Doppler's to the stake! Burn them all! Give it a rest, mate. Can't you see it's all in fun? This is a comedy. A ghoul could play the prince. Light it up, for God's sake. me. How'd you do it? Greetings, Dudu. Heard about that souvenir Horson left on your face. So, you know everything? Have you seen Siri? No. Still looking for her. Geralt! Masterful! You did great. Haven't they laughed that hard in ages? Lads won't believe it when I tell them. Explain one thing to me. How do you and Dandelion manage to displease Reuven, Horson, and the Temple Guard all at the same time. It's not as if we planned it. 
<laughs> Why didn't you find Priscilla or the Mummers? Contact them. I came to a few performances, different shape each time, but I dared not show myself. Feared I'd put them at risk. Then I got word of a new mumming. Saw it as my chance to learn something, anything, about Siri and Dandelion. I know Siri went back to Horsons to get you. How'd you manage to escape? I ran after her, wanting to keep up, but I'd have been a hindrance. She called out to me and treated me to shapeshift and disappear. I tried to find them, Siri and Dandelion. It was as if they turned to vapor. Fearing for my life, I shifted each day, becoming someone else. Even considered turning into Siri to trick her pursuers, but slow down, Marmalade. Hmm. Geralt, when did you last see Cirilla? Hmm? Been a while, hasn't it? A while, yeah. For me, likewise. Must be a full grown lass by now. Do, do, do us a wee favor. Show us Siri for a moment. Geralt? Transform. Change into her. I feel strange. Both of you staring at me bug-eyed. Is that enough? Yeah. Plenty. Bad idea. Not angry, are you, Geralt? No. I feel relieved. And Dandelion? Were you able to find him? Witch hunters nabbed him, but there's good news too. Menga's dead. Ugh. A fiend. Good thing someone finally killed it. Though another, just as bad or worse, would likely take its place. Wouldn't be so quick to assume. Got a feeling it could be a decent fellow. What's he talking about? We think we can free Dandelion. Just need your help. What could I do? Take on Menga's appearance. Then go and give the order for Dandelion to be moved to Oxenford. We'll lie in ambush in a ravine en route. Spring Dandelion from the convoy when it rolls by. Wait, not so fast. How am I to be Menga? And I've no notion where Dandelion's being held. Dandelion's on Temple Isle, imprisoned there. You'll need to find out exactly where. But what if they grow suspicious? Start asking questions. I'll bet my best axe no one will pester the commander of the Temple Guard. Besides, you're a Doppler and an actor, and an actor and a Doppler. Got double the spark to improvise your way out of any situation. If things get spicy, you'll just nip round the corner and transform into a buxom wench, a, a jackdaw, or whatever else strikes your fancy. Of course, it's that simple. Thanks. No one knows Menga's dead. No need to worry about being exposed. No one save you. Would this have anything to do with the fire at the Witch Hunter's barracks? We were in the area. <laughs> I sorely regret not seeing that. Listen, you'll manage. Everybody believes Menga's missing. You can make up any story you want. My lads and me will lie in ambush in the ravine. Geralt will then join us and we'll await word from you. But how am I to contact you as Menga? Send word that the convoy's left. You'll need to figure that out. Come on, Guile's your middle name. So, we all clear? Dudu, get your ass to Temple Isle. I'm off to assemble my crew. And we'll be waiting for you, Geralt. Yeah, see you in the ravine. Whoa, wait! Hold on! What happens after? I, I hope you don't expect me to continue as Menga, live like Chappelle, burning the occasional heretic to keep up appearances? No. Once it's over, we expect to see you at the Rosemary in time, where we'll all meet. To get pissed like wild badgers. So, settled? Let's get to work. You were marvelous. Not a single mistake. The performance in general. What did you think? I doubt the audience understood it all, but that's to be expected. 
I'm just pleased the Puffins got the word out. That was quite the crowd. You were right to cast Abelard as the prince. It's likely Maxim would have shown up drunk as a fish or forgotten about the premiere altogether. Here you are. Your fee. I must admit your style of mumming, well, it's quite minimalist. Did you study anywhere? At Kaer Morin. Minimum expression means maximum effect. Thanks for the coin. Take care now. Everything's ready. Aye. As soon as we catch sight of them, we'll block the road against the whole unit if need be. And, uh, you, you know, I think it's a great plan all round, uh, and I'm always glad to help. And uh, it's not like I'm not eager to crack some holier-than-thou bugger skulls, but seeing as we've got a Doppler, uh, wouldn't it have been easier to have him release Dandelion and, and, and be done with it? Too suspicious. Think about it. Menga disappears, then shows up with a scar on his face to release Dandelion? Uh, I suppose you're right. Priscilla, what are you doing here? Some child brought a note from Dudu. The convoy will leave at dawn. May I stay with you? I can't stand it. Sitting at home, worrying about Dandelion. Never fear, my dear. You'll get your warbler back. Just hope he's got his... Damn it! Gotta watch the rhymes in the presence of a lady. Go back to town. Please, I shan't be any trouble. Oh, come on, Geralt. Leave it go. Let her stay. Look at her, all weepy-eyed. Like my mutsy when his guts knotted up. Fine, she can stay. On one condition. I know. As soon as the fighting starts, I'm to stand at a distance. Not much happening just yet, and there may be some time before it does. Well, how about a game of Gwent? Sure, let's play. This was a stupid idea. You're the one who wanted to play. They're coming! They're coming now! Priscilla, stay here. Dandelion. Damn it. Girls, go after him. Leave these here to us. through here two men one slung over the saddle like a sack oh why something of the kind dash by turned left there but where a wench she were carrying swear it on me head squealing and wailing so
think someone let something slip. If Big Willie Their horse collapsed. Can't, can't be far. Sure. I just need to get pissed with. Witch hunters? Even Big Willie's not that daft. But hey! You! What is it? You tell me! One of them hunters barged into our hut, turned us out for we could so much as fart in protest. There another man with him, tall, dark-haired? Aye, jabbering the whole time. Hmm, dandelion. So, hunters barricaded themselves inside? There another way in. Truth be told, there is. Want to get rid of this hunter or not? Honest? We'd see you all gone. But he'll do for a start. Here. The key. Cellar door around the back. Sit there. There, I said, and shut it. All right. All right. So... And how can I be sure that you won't try anything? I'll go with you. Not like I really have a choice now, do I? And there'll be no trickery along the way. I could ring you now like a flat end, you realize? Yes, but I also realize you won't. My course is worth nothing to you, whereas a lie... Like I said, you've made a wise choice. Very wise. Might not be more than a sergeant today, but tomorrow... Fire! I thought we heard something. What? No, 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 you see, me and Gags, we don't... Geralt, must you ruin everything? I had him just where I wanted him. Ah, uh, <laughs> it is good to see you, friend. Been a while since you were last in Novigrad. What's... Come on, we'll talk outside. Priscilla! What are you doing here? You all right? You have me worried sick. Dandelion, you rascal! Got this lass to thank for his reason after he is. She chivied and chivied. Shame you arrived too late to see us hoodwink that hunter. I had a plan all set, but then Geralt! Dandelion, I need to ask you something. It's important, so focus. Where's Siri? Siri? I thought, seeing how you're here, you haven't seen her? I'm... Well, I don't know where she is. When did you last see her? We were on Temple Isle, running from Horson's men. Grab the bitch! Grab her! No, I'll be soon, mate. Horses... They barred all the gates! We have to run! Grab a horse to the temple! Your horse! We have to! We're almost there!
What an adventure. One minute we were pulling off the heist of the century, the next we were prey. A pack of hunters on our tail. Yeah, a splendid story, but I think I've had my fill of this boasting. Come, Zultan. We must convince the halflings they saw nothing at all. Gave me enough material for a volume of ballads. And this one will sell like hotcakes. Right. Best bits when the guard draped you over his saddle like a sack of corn. Stands to make you a fortune. Time will tell. You're getting to be grumpy in your old age. I'm just... worried. About who? Siri? Have a little faith, Geralt. You have any idea how she fights? The girl can take care of herself, believe me. Anyway, she's got to come back for that little box. The trinket that started it all. Mean this? You get it from Horson? Whoa, Siri will be overjoyed. Horson, on the other hand, has got to be pretty furious. Horson's dead. Ooh, guess you're no stranger to fury either. Well, can't say I regret the man's abrupt passing. Deserved it as much as he deserved that awkward nickname. What about our old friend, Siggy Reuven? Been to see him yet? He's fine. Oh, that's too bad. Because there's a good chance he's furious with me. Siri ever tell you what this is? And Horson, why'd she go to him with it? She went to Horson because I took her there. Could have guessed that was your idea. What? Her magic bauble was broken. Horson had access to the mages who could fix it. Besides, she needed help deciphering a curse. It's incantation. What was Ciri's interest in this curse? Did she want to cast it or lift it, she tell you? She wasn't all that willing to talk about it. I didn't want to pry. The one time when it might have been useful. But I'm almost positive she meant to lift it. Off who? What? Or was it about her directly? No. I don't think so. I mean, she didn't look cursed. But boy, was she in a hurry. Know any more about the curse? Something specific, a detail, anything? Hmm. Well, I know the words. You're kidding. No, they were elven. Siri was constantly repeating them to herself. Probably not to forget. Went like this. The file Elaine... Kiadmil Foli. Glad of Dorn Ep tonight, Bundro Isne Iakas. Doesn't mean a thing to me. Even less to me. She slipped away again. I was so close. Hmm. She came here from Velen. Somebody there helped her, apparently. Maybe she went back. Maybe. I'll need to check. Also gotta see if Yen's learned anything in Skellige. You two have chatted enough. Now it's my turn to talk to Dandelion. And I'll gladly have a go at him when you're done. Let's get back to the Rosemary in time. Well, I've certainly had my share of excitement for one day. A juicy roast in a soft bed with fluffy pillows. I think that's the least I'm owed. We haven't seen each other. Talked in ages. Consider dropping by if you're in the area. I'm sure to be by sometime soon. I'll hold you to that, Geralt. See you soon. And thanks again for today. <laughs>